My dad still thinks comedy is a phase. He's written law school off, but he's just like, hey, that bookstore is still hiring, and keep it going, though, with your hobby. I hope you have good skits. If you thought that no one took comedy seriously, try telling them you have a podcast. That's not a real thing. I always introduce Jamie as the son I never aborted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on stage, you do introduce me that way. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like not in conversation, like setting me up, then the audience looks horrified and I have to win them back in the first five minutes. <laughs> I played the Sydney Opera House and that didn't impress them. But I'm gonna be like, no, but I record a show into my computer from my apartment. That's real. Like he doesn't know what that is. The show we do, like we care about a lot. Like we've built like this like weird little community of outcasts where like the people who listen to the show and I think the people who like my stand up, it's just kind of like, uh, young, ostracized, you know, gay progressives who live in the middle of like a really conservative district. You know what's weird? In the South and in the Midwest, like even though like I am overtly political, like I've had like some of my like best audiences ever because they're not as like apathetic as like New York or LA would be, you know? A glee crowd stuck in a Sarah Palin world. And they're just like making friends on like, uh, like our message board and like, you know, a couple of them are driving tonight. So like we have this really cool community now uh, of, of kids who are disenfranchised and now they're politically active. So like that's kind of been like a huge priority.